Last weekend there was some great fishing. Northeaster pumped for three days. Last night the southwester came through and uh, some lightning storms. I don't know how that affected uh, the spot, but it's not looking too bad. The sea is a bit big. Always a bit up here after the northeast. We're at Stabil, but it's not kicking up sand, which is nice. It's not that heavy. So I'm going to throw a, a flat fish bait for a skate. And uh, always fish lightly. If you're not fishing surf long, you stand a chance of uh, not getting the bite if you're fishing steel. Or uh, if you're just fishing nylon, there's always a shark that could come past and uh, change your plans for you. So surf long, 90 pound. The 49 strand, it's American fishing wire surf line. Put a little bite trace, about I would say about 10 15 centimeters onto a 10 0 tuna circle, and then I've got a mustard sinker clip on your pre tight trace, and I'm knitting here. Should get a, a at least a bite here because it's not looking bad at all. Um, it could be. Could at least get a grey shark interested. Ever present this time of the year and especially on the first day of the west. It's not a strong wind. The west didn't come through very strong. That's why I thought the water should still be cold, especially as Tabal works other way around. Then most of your beaches, the northeast that cools that water down. As soon as it turns southwest, that colder water moves away from the coast again. And Stabal is quite far in. How big is that sea? Can we throw a cone? I want to throw a cone. Now this is nice about this, it protects, you know your knot sometimes hits the sinker off the rocks and your sinker breaks off. That protects that as well because this can move when it hits the rocks. It's not going to have the weight behind it. Plus it's got the nice cast clip on it to clip. Alright, so that's done. Then let's get lad going. Alright, so I'm just going to try tying a trace. Tying my trace on to braid always use a polymer pull the whole trace through you must learn to do the polymer now you have to unwrap your trace and clip a sinker then tie in and tie your bait onto this then one of these nice ad can mackerel i'm just a bit impatient now to let it defrost Please remember, this goes without saying, but I'm going to say it in every opportunity I've got. Plastic, back in your bag or your box. Bring a little checkers packet or something. But uh, it's really horrible to arrive on a, a fishing spot and you just see plastic lying around. I mean, with all the media coverage on plastic all over the world, you should think guys will start catching on. No? That means nothing to me, the whole mouth section. All the good stuff's inside here. Yeah. So we have to start trimming it bits by bits. Look at that. Get a bite quicker if we do that. Trim all of that unnecessary stuff off. Get that corner off. So remember your bait, the size, to fit the size of your hook or your dangle, and we shape it with our hands. This is frozen solid still. You see how nice those gills are open for smell? I just slice some cutlets. Close it up here and there, a bit softer. I'm not going to use big thick pieces, because I don't want the bait to be too big considering that they might be grazed. Now, I think it's a good idea and advisable to take another mackerel out now already. We don't battle for the next bait, but I think this will suffice for now. Do you see how tie my dangles with a, a thick braid? Um, 
it's almost Dakrot, then a ring, must add ring on the bottom, and then this just slips nicely through, won't come off, that holds that, my sinker, notice that uh, the thinner part of my bait sits behind the sinker for that streamlineness to cast it. was still on I checked it quickly a little bit picked but now it's just a matter of waiting normally when the tide pulls you it's to bell it can produce some bites so we're gonna have a couple of throws and see um, very difficult spot to land a fish here uh, probably better success on a multiplier sliding a bait here more bites as well as landing the fish but uh, we'll have a look see Yet to land a big fish here, yeah? I've hooked some big fish here, yeah? but no success story yet. They're changing a bit of tactics. And then I'm sure everybody's still got a lot of Natal sides, I've got some here. Got a little belly out there. will now start seeping just to round it off over that belly and mackerel are two baits about a half an hour each well 20 minutes and a half an hour well 20 minutes and 40 minutes and not a, a bite nothing touched it Let's see if we can lure something else in there's no reason a flat fish won't eat that obviously like the mackerel more and when you're fishing a jail you can switch to a grab with these chemically sharpened hooks we use these days and actually sometimes assist in setting the hook feet. now that's what's nice about these clips as well you hook it off hook the next one you're done little session here at Stabal. No, we came about two hours ago I think. The first hour and I think on the mackerel baits so I switched to sardine and chocker. And at least got that one hammer I'm gonna call it. Still nothing wrong, little hammer. Still a bit slow here on the south coast. Um, this weekend there were a couple of hammers here that's why I came and a couple of sandies the guys didn't land. Smaller sandies I heard. Uh, also got caught but uh, other than that not much on the south coast yet but we'll give it keep on trying and let you guys know as soon as there's some action now let's just check Tyron's trace as well because he leaves the bait on a couple of days later I'll smell my bags stinks 